So after that, I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. And then I had this other friend that was pregnant. Trust me, you see when you see when me start when me start tell people how much friend me have pregnant at the time or trying to get pregnant at the time, it's like you did have an agenda. And maybe subconsciously I did. Or it just happened. Everybody pregnant or baby at the same time. It just happened like that. But <laughs> then um move forward to the, the braid I rub out my neck back. Mm -hmm. So after that, yeah, I had this one friend that was pregnant at the time. No. Yeah, I told her while she was pregnant. She had baby at the end of January. Um, her, she was like, oh, I'm having a girl. If it's a girl, they're going to be cousins. And she was just so simple with everything and so helpful. She never, like, forced any any um, recommendations on you, which you get a lot of when you're pregnant. At that point, I'm like, you know what? Fuck everybody. I don't care don't tell me shit don't ask me shit i'm gonna do this how i'm gonna do it don't tell me nothing don't don't talk to me don't deal with me nothing you understand because why leave me alone people have recommendations for everything as soon as they hear you're pregnant oh make sure you have olive oil make sure you have the cocoa butter make sure and if it's girl or if it's boy make sure you're circumcised and make sure I'm like, bruh, me never ask if you know advice or nothing. Just and and they come with pressure and judgment. That's why at one point, I just decide not to tell my body. You know, I'm not hiding. I took pictures every day. I was not growing. There was that too. I was miserable by second trimester because I'm like, I don't have a bump, but I have stretch mark. I have stretch marks. But I don't have a baby bump to prove that, you know, I'm flourishing and I want the baby bump and I want people to feel sorry for me and move over or make me go first in the line and, you know, but that's for the next video. Now, a couple of the honorable mentions because you all think those reactions were the worst. I don't remember how I, this girl was probably on my close friends on instagram now if you're on my close friends on instagram that don't mean so we're close friends it just means that i thought you were not judgmental and i could share shit that you could understand my close friends are my close friends <laughs> my close friends on instagram is not very personal it's just things that i think it it has more open-minded people if you will i don't remember if it was on my close friends that i posted something but we ended up having a conversation about me being pregnant and insert screenshot no i'm not edit i'm gonna put it as a thumbnail i'm not edit this video so when i insert my screenshot i'm gonna put it as a thumbnail this girl said to me I hope he's not a deadbeat. I would hate that for you. Lady, what you know about me? Me that hate that for you too. But you don't say that to me. We're not at the same way. If my best friend did tell me that, me that probably fight her. And I'm like, audacious. Let me tell say, when you're pregnant, people have audacity and i've found my myself um apologizing to friends of mine that were pregnant or had been pregnant before or whatever that i know of P friends of mine that are parents i'm like if i if while you were pregnant i ever said this or i ever did that or i'm so sorry 
I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't understand that this is what you said. Or this is what you meant when you said this. I'm experiencing it now. And I would hate for it to happen to anybody else. And I don't know. I just start feel bad. Because when I said people really like inconsiderate. People are cruel. And this is a an emotional time. And a trying time. Because like just imagine your body just attacking you for what having unprotected sex you know it it was so much that your body was going through and for people to pile on mental health you know triggering things it was it was a lot so i'm like you know what i'm not saying it to anybody i told my dad and he was excited i told my mom and she was excited i told my grandma and they were excited why do i care what other people think these were the three people i mean their reactions were you know and i'm like so no look at nothing and then you have the group of people because i'm on instagram every day bashing stuff and also being very very pro-choice pro because it is a choice and i do believe that um I made it to nine months. Some people would have had a psychotic break if they went through what I went through through my pregnancy. Um, some people, it it's a decision. It's a personal decision. It is a choice. I am very much pro-choice. A lot of people keep looking at the end result. At least you're gonna have a baby. At least you're gonna. The nine months are crucial. You could die. The nine months are very crucial they are what if you say no them nine months there them nine months there like all the symptoms all the side effects my breasts have grown probably three sizes i've changed bra size so much that i I used to go into Walmart and just buy one bra, one size up. And then as soon as a month passed, boom, one next size up. And that was another thing for me. Um, I hated my breasts before and then getting pregnant and then engorging. And then people being like, wait till I breastfeed. Excuse me, they gonna get bigger? Like, no. I don't want that you know and it was it was a lot to process but not only did they grow this is my area some breasts some breasts some mini part fire I had to get breasts I had to get nipple cream from the first is it the day that I went to do the blood test at five weeks? I went to the pharmacy downstairs to buy the nipple cream. That's how early my breasts were under. Whew. I could be in my blows without my bra in my house. And it's like them, them can't manage the fabric. And I... I wear loose fitting clothes I wear clothes <laughs> I wear loose fitting clothes I wear basic clothes you know and why yeah there was that and then another mom friend of mine at this time she had a 15 month old and I think a four year old she was like girl <laughs> I got upload on a different video, my receipts, and maybe like about five minutes of screenshots and me not post no vice recording. Me not edit, me not edit that video, brother. <laughs> Just a couple seconds of screenshots or something for sure. No. no. I don't even need to do all of that, but I feel like I want to do it just for sure to say, oh, this, uh, they actually said this. So this girl was like, oh, Tina, um, you're gonna, you're gonna, um, 
you're gonna want what was it child <laughs> it was like oh tina you're gonna need assistance from the government and you're not going to get it because you're not a citizen and the citizens can get assistance from the government and the man is going to take it and he's going to abuse it and i'm like girl me tell us i'm gonna ask canada government if you're not for me or like i'm like whoa no she's canadian like born and raised so i'm like i don't get it i really don't get it and then she goes on to say um yeah that's gonna happen to you um you're not gonna have a life you're not gonna and then the next morning i wake up and it's a ball and chain picture she sent to me with the mother like crouched over like this and the baby i'm gonna put it on the thumbnail too because when i need to see it when i need to see it bro when i tell you that people came out of the woodworks with all the negative energy they could bring i'm 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 like people could be so ruthless no wonder people like get abortions without even like thinking it through you guys don't even give them a choice to like think it through my response to her was like bitch the fact that i'm telling you this is that i've decided to go forward with this something i'm like yeah we said time no but seriously like sometimes i want to just and i'm like i understand that that is your experience but it doesn't necessarily have to be mine you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna hate the man and you got girl <laughs> i'm telling you it was so much going on right then and there and i'm like huh the girl literally sent me a picture of a woman with a ball and a chain. A ball and a fucking chain. Yeah. There was something there going on in that broad yard. And this whole time I'm like, I'm good. My mother, my father, and my grandmother that I place emphasis on, their response are good. Why are people like this? No. Other than that, the, the 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 bulk of the the bulk of the um the bulk of the responses was shocked. Like you have man, look, you had sex. Whoa, Tina K had sex. This is awkward can't imagine tina k having sex somebody actually asked me somebody actually said no offense but i thought you were a lesbian or celibate and i'm like i mean i know i come on social media and chop men and spit them out but like <laughs> it was just it was just a lot it was it was a lot yeah a lot <laughs> but <laughs> I made it. I'm here at nine months. Excited to see what the next chapter holds. Excited to meet this kid and tell him, guy, your bed. Because, yes, that's what we do. Excited to feed this kid and, you know, clean spit ups and diapers and all of that. Um, I don't know if I accurately ran through the first trimester my next video is gonna be a little bit more scripted because i'm actually going to write down the things that i missed but right now your girl hot i'm gonna tie up back my head because i hear a rub off my neck back and just digest my food <laughs> and just build back over one part I'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> because it gets it gets better i promise but i really want to give you guys an, a, a little bit of advice on how to approach this situation 
let the pregnant lady lead <laughs> let the person telling you this information lead um you know navigate how you react see how they are feeling are you okay reassure them um i'm here for you you see if you're not there for them don't tell them say you're there for them child child if you're not there for them don't tell them say you're there for them it not work mm -mm. do not do it next video i'll do second and third trimester breakdown um any major events that happen in that time but yeah if you're not there for them don't tell them you're there for them thank you have a good night enjoy angela down